Hey, this is my yarn addiction for February. Um, this is just basically a whip update. Because I've got, at last count, I had five, like six, five to about eight whips. I finished three, and those are going to... I'm going to show those in my Castle Crew video that, I'm also, that I just did. But I'm going to show you the whips that I have that I still have to finish because I'm trying to get whittled down my whips before I start anything else. So I will start off with my knitted, well, I'll just kind of go. So the first one, I'm going to do it, is this scarf. It is a it's a hat on Ravelry. It's just made for super bulky yarn, and I'm using baby blanket yarn in lime green. And I'll post a link to the pattern in the description box below. The next product I have that I've been work that I've kind of been working on. I haven't worked on this one much. Because I kind of wanted to go on to something else just for the time being, is my crochet along with um, Essence of Me, Dana. So this is it, and I've start already started a red row. That's kind of ooh, where I'm at, and my base color, as you can see, is white. So. Let me fold this back up, trying to keep it fairly organized. And I also started because I was having problems with the pattern for the. It's out. It's supposed to be a shawl, but because I've made three blankets in the past, none. None of them have been for me, so I'm like, okay, I want to make a blanket for myself, because I'm more of a blanket person. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. So instead of doing more on the blanket and potentially making more mistakes on it, I started a baby blanket. It's not as long, it's lengthwise, it comes about, well, it would come about to my heart, type of thing. So... And I'm using oh. I'm using Burnett Premium Worsted and I'm using the baby blanket kit um with the Peyton's Canadian Worsted Weight yarn. Um I'm not really working on it particularly hard. Um it's just kind of, so once I figured out what I was doing wrong with the other one, I'm like, I sw switched back over to it. So I, this hasn't been looked at since. But I would like to finish it. And I, f yeah. So I figured it out and then put it aside. So it's in, and this is actually, if anybody's wondering, I'm just going to tie it just so it doesn't come open. Some OCD like that. I'd like to make sure it's not going to pull out because that's happened before. Um, this is actually because, like here in Canada, I don't know if they do it in the U.S., but when you get some sheet sets come in bags like this, and this is one of them. So this was a cheat set that I got from my bed, and I just took the bag and turned it into a project bag. And the other thing I have is knit, and this is my purse knitting because it's really easy. And it is a cowl, or it will be a cowl. It's kind of squished on the needle, so I don't want them to, it to fall off. And I'm, and I'm actually really close to being done it. I have, I think, less than ten rows before I start the rib the um, ribbing again. And then this will be done. And then I might have to find something else to be person it. I might make I might do a hat. 
And then, this is the last thing I have, which is probably, this is the only one that has a real time stamp on it. And this is the, I the pattern name is, I think it's called Lala Simple Shawl. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, and I will push, put the, push, if I could talk, put, put the link in the description box below. It's by, I want to say Laura Lineman. I'm sorry if it's wrong. I'm off the top of my head. But I've gotten done two repeats of the pattern and I'm into the third. And I really like it. The only, and it's like, it's if you've never done a shawl before, never done lace before, I would highly recommend this pattern. It's really easy. The only thing that bugs me after a while is there gets to be a lot of stitches. That's the only problem that I'm having. Like, it's a lot of stitches, but that's just because I'm lazy. But, I mean, otherwise, it's extremely simple. I mean, I can't follow a pattern. Even I can follow this pattern. So, and the idea with this is it's going to be, hopefully, my graduation shawl. Because I wanted to have something knit for when I graduate. And that's it. That's all I have that for projects that are current, I'm focusing on whips. Pretty much everything else that I have I've been working on or had worked on are has kind of switched into the UFO pile. And I will be hopefully picking so, a couple back up and start working on them as I fa as I'm done these. I'd like to start I'd like to finish. I'd like to bring some OF. Oh, oh, I can't talk today. Which is odd considering I just finished giving my 4 H speech. I can't talk today. Um, I'd like to bring some UFOs back up into my whips what, as I get finish some of these projects. Um, yeah, there's a couple of UFOs that I won't be able to finish until later on, like summer, because, you know. Because the only one I actually, there's only one like that. I have a Granny Square Afghan that I'm making for myself, and it's like specific colors. And I've since run out, nearly run out of the colors, so I need to. Um, I have to wait until after the yarn challenge is over before I can get more of that yarn. So that's on hold until I until after probably probably summer. I'll probably try and finish it over the summer. So yeah, that is, I think that's basically it. I'm just trying to think what else I could talk about. Because I wanted to have, because I don't, I don't know if I did anything for January. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, so, for UFO, I think the next UFO that I would like to phase back into my whips is, it's, I don't have the pattern book here, but it's a red heart pattern. It's for just a really simple tote bag. And I'd like, and I've got half of it done. I just need to finish the other half and then sew it together. Finish the other half, sew it together, put a lining in or on, do a strap. Do a, I want to put a lining on the strap, just like a nice fuzzy yarn, just because I'm kind of weird like that. Um, that's what I want to do. But I have to have like a day or a weekend where I can have my sewing machine out and I can work on it. Um. I have, I'm trying to think, I kind of want to, kind of using the video to kind of get a game plan going. And that's really the only UFO that I'm really like, I really would like to get it done. Other than that, everything else just kind of, meh, it'll get done when it gets done. So, that is it. That is it now. Um, I, because it's, I'm almost at 10 minutes. I will post a check out the rest of the yarn addiction members. Yarn addiction members. I will post their links in the description box below. Have a oh no. Ugh. Have a great week. Ha have a great week, month, however long it is until I do another video. And I will see you all later. Bye.